Hi, this is David Staples. Today we're going to be talking about how to remember the OSI model. Now, we're not going to go into detail as far as what is operating at each of the different layers. We're not going to be talking about what each of the layers does. This video is just to help you remember the individual layers of the OSI model itself. So let's go ahead and get started with the various layers. So you've probably seen these layers already in a course that you've taken or a book that you've read, uh, maybe a podcast that you've listened to. And these basically make up what we call the OSI model. Uh, these basically break down networking into a variety of different layers that help us understand kind of how everything pieces together and how data actually flows from uh, an end user all the way across the network back to a server uh, or perhaps another end user, whatever the case may be. But regardless, we're only really talking about how we can actually remember this for maybe you're taking the Network Plus exam or you're taking a Security Plus exam or maybe your CCNA. So no matter what the case is, here are the various layers that we're trying to remember here. So if we start at layer one and work our way up, so we've got the physical layer is layer one. Our data link layer is layer, layer two. Our network layer is layer three. Transport is layer four. The session layer is layer five. The presentation layer is layer six. And then the application layer is layer seven. But of course, when it comes time for the test, not everyone can remember these just using the actual names of the layers themselves. So we've got two different mnemonics here that we'll be using to help you remember uh, the individual layers in the order that they come. So let's start off with this one is all people seem to need data processing. So this actually starts at layer seven and works its way down to layer one. So you'll want to remember that we're starting with layer seven here and kind of working our way down through the stack until we hit layer one. So again, that's all people seem to need data processing. Pretty easy, straightforward. I'll give you a moment to write this down. But one thing to remember here is that the people relates to presentation, and then the processing is physical. You'll notice that there are two layers that start with the letter P. So the physical is always going to be layer one. It's going to be basically the outside layer, the layer at the very end of the phrase here, whereas people is the one that comes second which is presentation. So again, that's all people seem to need data processing. That's layer seven going down to layer one. Now, we do have a second mnemonic here as well. And this one is going to be, people do not throw sausage pizza away. Now, if you ask my wife, she doesn't really care for sausage, so she would absolutely throw sausage pizza away. Either that or she'll pick the sausage off. But uh, you can always replace sausage with maybe salami or sardines, whatever you like on your pizza, some sort of topping that starts with S. If you like spinach pizza, feel free to change that to spinach. But, of course, here we're starting at layer 1 and working our way to layer 7. So this is, of course, physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, and application. People do not throw spinach pizza away. People do not throw sausage pizza away. People do not throw sardine pizza away. Well, maybe I do, but uh, anything that helps you remember the seven layers of the OSI model using this mnemonic, feel free to modify uh, as you need to. These are just two of the more common ones out there that I've seen. Uh, I have students ask me all the time in class. I, I teach a variety of IT courses. They ask me, how can I remember the OSI model? Because that's a lot of layers to, to try and remember exactly the order that they come in. And without just sitting here and, and going over it over and over and over, uh, there's got to be an easy way to. So these two mnemonics are typically the ones that I throw out to the class and say, you know, either one, whichever one works for you, is the one that you may want to use when you're taking that exam, when you're taking that test, uh, when you need to actually recall this information. So again, we have the all people seem to need data processing, which starts at layer seven and works its way down to layer one, application through physical. And then we have people do not throw sausage pizza away. This is our physical through application, layer one through layer seven. So I hope this has been some help. Uh, thank you for stopping by and watching. And uh, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. Have a great day.